Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. What can you tell me about voodoo? There's voodoo that goes on in this city, sure. I looked into it a bit at the beginning of this case. But the voodoo stuff found at the crime scenes is all faked. It doesn't have anything to do with the real stuff. I know, I asked some experts. It's intimidation tactics, that's all. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Lots. Can you be more specific? Do you know anything about the killers? At least 20 people attend the killings. We know this from the variety of footprints found at the scene. Footprints? Aren't those as good as fingerprints? Can be. But we'd have to have a suspect in custody first, and the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. Most of the footprints are smudged, trodden over, unreadable. These guys are so casual in their expertise, it's maddening. Like they know we'll never find them. How many murders have there been so far? Seven murders have so far been linked to the Voodoo Murders case. Now, the first murder occurred about eight weeks ago. The M.O. was the same in each murder. Lake Ponchar Train was the seventh. What kind of evidence have you found? No fingerprints, a few bare footprints. Found a few fibers, but not many. The weirdest one was leopard fur. Leopard fur? Describe the crime scenes. Well, there's the corpse itself, minus the heart. Around where the body was killed, we find marks and flour and blood. There are traces of wax from candles, Red and black. Ordinary wax candles, so the lab reports. Also blood and feathers of chickens. Also goat's blood. And plenty of the victim's own, of course. What's the coroner say? The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one of them. Lovely. Any idea what they do with them? Don't even want to know. Also, the coroner says some of the victims had heart attacks before the incision. Literally scared to death. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy-edged knife. Probably a ritualistic dagger. Any witnesses? Nope. There's never been a single witness. No one's even heard a disturbance. It's damned weird. Like they just don't want people to see, and so nobody sees nothing. Know anything about the victims? The victims are all out-of-towners. We still don't know why. Oh, nothing. Never mind. Sure. No problem. What can you tell me about New Orleans? You and me grew up together. You tell me. It's a pretty nice place, even seeing the stuff I see. You know. The quarter's getting a bit too wild, though. Getting hard to control. Not quite what it was when you and me used to hang here, but... Hell, I've never known anything else. Do you know anything about snakes? The only thing I know about snakes is I don't like them. Have you ever heard of a Shuckin' Jaeger? No. Ha! Is that anything like a Chuck Jaeger? I don't think there's any relation. Tell me about yourself. For the book? Sure, why not? Okay, what do you want to know? How'd you like working on the police force? Are you kidding? You know I love being a cop. In New Orleans, it's the best place in the world to be one. What are your plans for the future? Well, you know, I don't like to count my chickens before they're hatched, but I don't see why I can't be the chief of police of New Orleans someday. I already know the mayor, and my record is one of the best in the department. I'm sure it's just a matter of moments, mostly. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. Got any hobbies? Yeah, making your life miserable. I'm serious. Don't you shoot or chew or something like that? 
No, I'm a freaking ballet dancer. Jeez. Yeah, I was number one at the Louisiana State Fair Marksman Contest. I play trumpet, too. You know, put your lips together and blow. How's your home life? Oh, real funny, Knight. Why don't you just bring in some freaking salt? Well, you know Annie left me. My home life is shit. Right. Sorry about that. Just tell me anything at all. Remember how we used to play monkey in the middle? <laughs> we used to piss off our senior year teacher. What was her name? Ms. McKelly? You'd act like you were going to toss her an eraser or something. Then you'd throw it to me over her head. And we used to do it at your grand's, too. Like with the remote when she wanted to watch your soaps. Yep. And it was a great way to pick up women in the library. Oh, oh those were the days. Oh, nothing. Never mind. It's your dime. What's the status on the voodoo murders case? It's going. Can't seem to make any progress, though. Sluggish damn case. It's weird. I got those photographs you left for me. Really? Great. What'd you think? Astonishingly lifelike. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got any more ideas for photos for the book? Nope, I think we have everything we need. Okay, but you shouldn't underestimate the power of beefcake, my friend. Do you know anything about the patterns around the bodies? Yeah, weird, huh? All seven victims had those little marks around them. We got all the marks on file, but we haven't figured out what, if anything, they mean. Can I see the other six patterns? Uh, sure. People like that kind of stuff, don't they? Might make the book seem more mysterious. Now go talk to Officer Franks. Tell her I said you could see the file. 